welcome to Sam's Wheel of Fortune Show! Let's welcome our contestants! On the right side, we have sweet, smart, and with amazing taste, Susan! On the left side, brave, resolute, and with a great sense of humor, Samantha! Today, we'll find out who of the two girls is better versed in magic! Let's go! And we're getting started! Spin, spin, all the wheel! And our first question is... What is the most magical creature? Ah, the contestants have made their minds! And... Susan, your answer? This is the easiest question. Of course, it's a unicorn! And that's the right... Hey! What? what what's the matter? Well, everyone in the world knows that the most magical creature is a mermaid! Where'd you get that from? I know it! This isn't right! It Unicorns. is! Unicorns! Passions <laughs> ran high! Oh, There's only mermaid. one way to find out who's right! <laughs> the Crafters Competition! How long should I wait? I wonder if I'll get extra points for being on time. Calm down, don't panic. I'm already here. Wow, it seems that someone decided to become a horn wing horse. <laughs> I believe that the magic of the most magical creature will help me today. And we'll check this in our first task to transform the riding object. The team of unicorns represented by Sue chose a simple pen to work with. A couple more minutes and it won't be so simple anymore. <laughs> We'll glue on some mini pom-poms to cover the junction. And Samantha, who is a fan of mermaids, decided to transform a marker. Oh, just look how beautiful this is. Hop, hop. <laughs> you can have as much fun as you want. Let's take some self-hardening clay and shape it into a unicorn horn. And now, with a toothpick, we'll make a relief. Just a few diagonal recesses. Okay, it's time for me to get down to business. Great! I'm gonna glue a larger piece of fabric onto the marker itself, like this. And a smaller one will go into the cap. The main thing is not to make a mistake in the sizes. In the meantime, the unicorn team has got into acrylic paint. There's no magical unicorn without a golden horn, right? It remains only to attach a couple of cute ears. And give an extra gloss to the entire pen with… Huh? Where is it? Sam, what are you doing? What? Did you just had to sabotage me? Give it back! <laughs> oh, please! I'm almost done here anyway! I just need to draw a beautiful flipper and attach it to the marker. Uh-huh. We'll cut out two identical parts from shiny foam paper. And now we'll glue them together like this. And attach the whole thing onto the marker cap. All done! Hmm, that's a brilliant idea about a foam paper. I will make a cool fairy mane for my unicorn from it. Awesome, let me see! <laughs> Nay! <laughs> then I'll check out what you've got. Wow, look how shiny it is. The both contestants cope with the first deck perfectly well. Let's see what else is waiting for them. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Our next Shiver me chatters, what's happening? Let me help you. Hold this, Sam. Yeah, what a mess. It's clearly impossible to do without a special organizer here. Let's roll out the air plasticin. It turned out great! And stick it around a regular duct tape dispenser. We'll smooth out all the bumps. Sue loves horses with one horn, but I'd rather prefer seahorses. That's it. You're good to go. Ugh, thank you. And what is your rival doing there? Isn't it clear? It's Seahorse's tail, of course. Let's roll it like this. Interesting. And now we can stick it in place. Just press it well. It already looks good. Hmm, but something's missing. Bright sequins will be emitted in scales and give a magical glow to our seahorse. Wow, what a beauty! Hands Ouch! Off. Easy! When the air plasticine hardens, we'll give our seahorse a pearly glow. And then fix it on top with clear nail polish. This is a wonder, ladies and gentlemen! But how does that work? Simple! We tear out the required amount of adhesive tape. And voila! Amazing! Ten points to Gryffindor! Uh, I mean mermaids! <laughs> it's very beautiful indeed, but it holds only one adhesive tape. Now we're talking. 
This time, let's make our unicorn soft pink. It's the best color. <laughs> Second up to the judge, Susan? Smart. Oh, please. To highlight some of the details, let's apply nail polish to them. And then add magical golden dust. Perfect. It's time to assemble our construction. And now the main trick. Whoosh! It's so beautiful! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what sound does this seahorse make? Nay! Again, we've got two great crafts! It's time to toughen our competition! Our contestants have already received their next test to make bookmarks. But this time, Sue will be working on a mermaid craft. Mm, no, that doesn't look very good. And this is not either. Mm, yes, let's stop on this one. Now we need to carefully cut out the mermaid's tail according to the stencil. And set it into the oven. Sam, could you? Oh yeah, give it to me. I'll do it all by myself. In the meantime, I'll take care of the scales. We'll also cut them out of clay using a plastic straw. It's simple. Let's give the fin a more natural look. And then bake and paint everything again. Look what I found! Oh, cool! Why, thank you! <laughs> That's how easily the former rivals become assistants to each other! Let's add some more glitter. Oh, I love this so much! We'll glue the tail to a cute drawing and get the most convenient bookmark. I wouldn't jump to conclusions, sis. You haven't seen what I've come up with yet. <laughs> Of course, unicorns are not my cup of tea, but I know for sure that where they are, there is a rainbow. Mine will be unusual. Just check out how it shines. <laughs> Foam paper and that's it? I got a lot more creative with your bookmark. Oh, did you get your impatience from Sam? I beg your pardon! Oh, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Show Host. <laughs> Whoosh! Now let's draw the tassel like this to make a cute tail. And attach a pair of chubby legs. Don't forget about relief. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, how much I love crafts that unite. Now we'll add some gold to the hooves with acrylic paint. And give the whole unicorn a mysterious, fabulous glow with nail polish. So, are you all ready for the final touch? So let's go! Up, and everything is ready! Here oh, you go, wow. Sue. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, what are you doing to me? How should I choose a winner here? Oh, thanks to be dub, I never run out of crafting ideas in my head. Here. So, why do you need a foil ball, Sam? Well, you heard our next task to make a cute pencil stand. I will make mine in the shape of a seashell. This will be the base. And now we need to thoroughly knead this pink clay. Uh, 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 well, we'll be working with the clay, too. Only wearing gloves. To begin with, let's make a shape of a rainbow. Roll up a plump sausage. That's it. Great. And bend it into an arch. And now we need to make a few holes for pencils and pens. This clay rainbow will soon set and be ready to be painted. In the meantime, Samantha makes… a super long worm or something? It's not a worm. See for yourself. I'll now carefully wrap the foil frame. Gently in a spiral and along the entire length. Here's what we should get. But real seashells are not smooth at all. Let's do this and then set it into the oven. While Samantha is fiddling with the relief for her shell, I'll brighten up my stationary rainbow. <laughs> That's a cool name, right? I think your craft is missing something, Sue. Really? Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> well, now I have time to overtake her. Bit of mermaid magic. Awesome. And some pearl glitter on top. I'm using a dry brush for this. Samantha's words haunted Sue, but she already knows what her craft's missing. <gasps> Air clouds. They look just perfect here. Let's work a little on their shape. Like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, this, in my opinion, turned out just great. And everything is at hand. <laughs> but your stand can't compare to mine. This one fits more stuff. 
Samantha one, two, zero. <laughs> well, mine can stand on the table, unlike yours. What did you say? No. Ladies, please, please. I'm the judge here, and I made my decision. We need a final round. All right, it's time for today's most dangerous competition. Sue, Samantha, and the scissors. The unicorn team chose clay as their main crafting material. Unicorn scissors, it's a dream. Look what a cutie. Aha, this time Susan makes a winged creature. Not bad. We need to let the clay harden well, and then we can turn on our fantasy. Highlight the eyes and nostrils with a black marker and our handsome buddy is ready! The unicorn team did it in a blink of an eye! And how are the mermaids doing? Apparently this time, Samantha chose some non-standard crafting approach! The Vaseline will keep the scissors from sticking to the parchment because I'll work with a glue gun! Don't use it without adult supervision, friends! And just like that, the handle of the scissors takes the shape of a fin. I've seen a lot of things in my life, but I'm definitely seeing this for the first time! Don't forget to cut the glue right here so that the scissors could open. Let's work on the shape of the fin. Melt it with a heated tool. And now we'll cover the glue with, uh, white glue. What? Are you sure you didn't make a mistake? Well, how else should I decorate it? You're asking me? It's your craft. Let's see what comes out of it. Now it's time to shine. <laughs> it's definitely impossible to overdo this. Oh, this is heaven. <clears throat> That's it. It turns out great, mermaid. And the final touch, acrylic varnish. Oh, we can only yours. Which scissors do you like more? Give a thumbs up for the mermaids and subscribe for the unicorns. And now the judges retire to count the points and you can recollect everything we did today. of the competition. Well, I can't wait to fail it, Susie. <laughs> okay, ladies, I've made my decision. Today, the winner is... Pink Slick Slime! What? What difference does it make if I get the new stationery? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, you asked for it. Whoosh. Whoosh. What's happening? <laughs> A tail? A horn? Come on! Guys, we hope you had as much fun today as we did. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our new videos. Bye-bye! Hey, where did you go? Did you forget about me? Bye-bye, <laughs> folks! Sam, Sam! Look at the board and pay attention. When the value of this variable... Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't be so bored in class. I'd find a thing or two to do. Uh, I'm not sleeping. Hey, wake up! Uh. Just listen to that slime! Uh-huh. Yeah, can you come up with something interesting, huh? What? We can do everything, and we'll prove it to you right now. I doubt it. No one is more creative than me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Beware and behold, we're getting started. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see what we have here. Uh huh. Huh. Let's start with this thing. What can we turn this into? Hey, Jack, catch! Hmm? Oh, eh, on it. We'll get right to the spot and draw Professor Rick on this thing. <laughs> and Sam's wig from earlier today will be my reference for the professor's famous hairdo. <laughs> Hop. Hop. Ah. 
Our professor needs a couple of years too. So serious. Here comes the eyes. The bigger they are, the more he sees. Just a couple more details and everything is ready. Wait, it won't last long like this. Let's bake it using this super flashlight. It's alive! Alive! So, what do we have here? Everything's dry and firm. It turned out great. Now it's time to take care of the coloring stage. Hmm, we're getting a real and a bit crazy, Rick. <laughs> I'll secure everything with glossy varnish, and it's done! So, who's bored at the lessons now? Oh. <sighs> Isn't it a masterpiece? Yay! Uh, yeah. We're the best! <laughs> <laughs> You're busted! I want to know right now, who's doing chemical experiments here, huh? I see everything. <laughs> oh, nothing's happened here. Ah, the wind is blowing me away! Uh, um, it's all right. No chemical experiments, see? We're just writing in our notebooks, and this is just a pen cup. We, we did nothing bad, really. Mm. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Maybe that fog was coming from the outside. All right. But I'm watching you. Phew. That was close. Hey, want to see what I came up with? Here's the trick. We'll paint these pieces into bright colors. Here are some more. Snap. And now we'll attach the parts to a suitable surface. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Look, you need to work carefully with the glue gun. Let's speed up a little. Oh. We'll cover it with a lid, and our staple box is ready. Huh? What should I do with this? Hmm, actually this bottle cap can finalize the overall look. Perfect fit. What you doing? <laughs> oh, we have a spy here. Stay put. <laughs> hey, let me out! Freedom to super slime! Okay, okay, come out. But be quiet, or the teacher will see you. <laughs> Now our paper clips will stay in one place. Seriously? You don't think that someone will keep trying to steal them? Hup. Hup. Hey, what are you flying at? What is that noise? You're in class, young man. Yes, yes, sorry. Do you need a paper clip? You can have some. A paper clip? No, I don't need it now. And you keep quiet. I have an idea on how to transform a marker. Let's do it in a Pickle Rick style. And the face is ready. Check this out. See, it's a green marker. Very convenient. But we're not done yet. Let's make the whole thing brighter using acrylic paints. Now let's test it. <laughs> the teacher will be amazed. Let me see that. Hey, I want to add some details here. That's a good use of this marker. Oh, oh hey, <laughs> give it back. I well, made I it. Drew better. <laughs> give it to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. It's mine. <laughs> wow. Wake up. Huh? Your students are not huh? behaving. What 
are you doing? Stop it right now! Oops, we didn't sorry, mean that. Teach. <laughs> I'm amazingly smart and incredibly sly! <laughs> no way! <laughs> the victory will be ours! <laughs> We're gonna prove that to you right now! This eraser is too big. Let's shrink it, like this. Now we can attach it to the pencil base. Let's add some foil. Just wrap it around this way. The arms and the leg pieces are already prepared. We'll speed it up. Let's paint it now and we can set our new friend free. We'll add some details to the face. So cool. So, Sammy, can you stand against this one? What is going on there? No toys allowed in class. Don't you know that? It's not a toy. It's a new student pencil vester, see? Don't take it out again. <sighs> <laughs> so funny. A new student. <laughs> I got it. No more toys. I'll put it away. Don't be upset, buddy. I have an idea. And also, I have this mat. Check this out. Uh, oh, <laughs> First, we need to cover it with a layer of acrylic paint. Let's transfer this image. Up and done. It's so flexible. <laughs> <Whee! Huh. laughs> what a great table surfing board. Hey, where did it go? Huh? Oh, what a great mat. I'll keep it as a punishment for you. What? Oh, no. Oh, don't worry, man. I have more ideas. Hmm, this mat feels really nice. I like it. Oh, how comfortable. <laughs> keep quiet, you two. Hey, Jack. Check out this cool blaster I've made. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll show Sam who's the boss here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You won't catch me, try if you dare! <laughs> What's going on? Why aren't you two at your desks? Oh, oh. Um, <clears throat> nothing's happening! <clears throat> I'm just gonna clear the board! Look! I'll make it look nice and shiny in a mere second! See for yourself! <clears throat> huh? Okay, okay. Let me have that thing. And now, go back to your seat. Ugh, so close. What? What are you up to, buddy? Just give me a second. Huh? Oh, I need this. All done. We'll keep here all our pens, pencils, and markers. Plumus makes everything easier. We'll cover it with the lid, and no one will find our things. <laughs> wow. It came out great. You're a genius. What are you doing here? Nothing special, ma'am. Then what is this thing? Just a box for pens and other small things. Huh? Ah! Help! Help me, it's a mouse! Huh? What is she talking about? Hey, look! Hmm? Oh. Ew, this is gross! Ah! <laughs> I put it there! I'm so smart! And still, <laughs> we're cooler than you. Look at all this <laughs> stuff we've made! Yeah, let's Am check right? out our masterpieces! <laughs> Oh, Sam, are you going to say that we are boring again? No, but I will take this thing as a compensation. Hey, give it back! Will you? 
didn't agree on that, so go away! But, uh, we won that creativity yeah. contest! <laughs> what is this? Why did you use my character without permission? <laughs> <laughs> they bought it! I'm the most creative here, and I will take all of these crafts! I need them more! Bye-bye! <laughs> Hey, come on! Huh? Oh, hey, Samantha! Oh, I'm sorry, Wednesday? Can you lend me an orange marker? Hmm, there's nothing here that looks like an orange marker. Oh, well, okay, I'll take another one. You're moving! Ouch! <laughs> By the way, what kind of school supplies may Wednesday have, huh? Hey! Well, let's find it out right now! Great idea, sis! Hey! Hey, wait for me! Oh! Hi, all! Well, where do we start? With markers, of course! Huh? Whoa! Are they gonna be so big? <laughs> there sure are! <laughs> uh, whoa! <laughs> wow, well, wow! Well, looks like you've decided to play big! Go ahead, give a thumbs up! We'll take a bottle and a cup to make the writing end of the marker! Carefully cut it out, like this! Up! Now we're gonna fix this with some hot glue, and then we'll take a couple of… Styrofoam circles! We'll close both ends of our large cardboard tube with them. And a smaller pipe will make an excellent cap for it! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> huh? Let's add some plastic to make it sturdier. Haha, <laughs> you can't catch a smart slime like me! <laughs> <laughs> nice move, Sammy! Just what we needed! The cap of the marker usually has this holder. We'll just round it up. Uh-huh. In the meantime, I'll finish the base of my marker. This decor piece goes to this end. Let's start painting. Yours will be black and mine will be pink. We're getting started! Here you go! <laughs> oh, 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 that's better! Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey! Who are you? Where's my little sister? Oh, wait, what? Okay… Shiver me, Cheddars! Even I can do that! Let's make our markers writable. Roll up a neat ball from felt and wool like this. Then we'll dip it in turns in liquid soap. And in water. Ooh, hey, I said uh, it turns. Yeah, stop it, you naughty hand. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, splash, splash. <laughs> See, I'm struggling <laughs> around. Give it to me. Crafting hey. is not finished yet. And whoosh. Oh, I said whoosh. Uh-huh, that's better. Now I'm all set to continue. Hey, I want to do that too. Come on, hop. Huh? Sammy. <laughs> Some saucers you are. Okay, I'll do everything by hand. Let's turn this ball into a cylinder. Can I have a bottle cap? You got it! Uh-huh, gotcha. We'll make a wide hole in the lid and glue this ring into its place. In the meantime, I'll finish the cap. Let's make a stopper by gluing a stick for the glue gun inside. And now it's time to refill our markers! Let's get to it! Woohoo! Prom to fairy to the rescue! <laughs> what are you gonna prom? The fairy will not help those in doubt. So I'm coming to you. Whatever. Tell me now. <laughs> oh, the stupid props. <laughs> Tell the good fairy what would you like? I wish for Hmm, uh-huh. Got it. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Do you like this version? Oh, it's so cute. Thanks, fairy Sammy. I'll just add one tiny detail on my own. And I did fun without any fairies. Huh, I love bats. There can be too many of them. Just like there can't be too many rainbows. Ooh. Am I right? <gasps> oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, and now let's check what these giant markers are capable of. We can make these markers even more awesome, you know? Alex is a. You are in big trouble, mister! Guys, I didn't mean to! I'll fix everything! We'll tape you so that you won't interfere! Oh, come on! Yeah, I don't like when this happens either! Oh, come on, you! <laughs> Guess it's free! Listen, let's make a giant tape! Let's, but it has to be Wednesday style! Cut out the desired shape from cardboard! Glue it around from both sides! Uh-huh! 
Ouch! This looks like a fence around a cemetery. <laughs> See, we need another piece uh -huh. like this. Hey, since when are you in charge? And why not? I still have a bunch of things to paint. I'll do it! You know how much I love to paint! Sammy! <laughs> Friends, while our Sams are arguing, I came up with something. Even if this craft should be spooky, doesn't mean it can be bright. Hmm, not bad. Although I still would like to add this. Well, I can't even imagine the size of the spider that made such a big... <laughs> And we're at the finish line. It remains to put all the pieces together. <laughs> Good luck finding a duct tape that big. We don't need it. Let's replace it with bubble wrap. Fix it with double-sided tape. And here's the last piece. Cool and relaxing. Ah, oh, no more bubbles here. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I forgot which Enid-style craft I wanted to make next. Oh, you. Couldn't you have written it down on sticky notes? Of of course, and they're so bright. Let's make them much bigger, though. <laughs> Ruler, pencil. <laughs> Let's cut the sheets of foam paper into several identical strips. Hey, you took the rainbow apart. Now we'll arrange these pieces into neat piles. Great. And now with a glue stick, we'll glue them together like this. Hey, hey, where are you going, Pink? We don't need this little crap. <laughs> oh, look, here's a reminder for you, friends. Take a large sheet of transparent plastic. One, two, three, four, five. And the giant sticky notes are ready. Ew, it's like someone threw up with a rainbow. At least they're noticeable. Oh, yeah, let's check it hey. out. Hey! <laughs> Very funny, Sam. <laughs> Guys, we'll be back in a second. Oh, this is great. Hmm, let's see. Uh-huh. If we make it like this, then... <gasps> oh! Ew! What have you done? <laughs> You've been pranked, Susie! Oh, you and your pranks! Oh, come on, sis. It's just gooish. It comes off easily. Oh, really? Well, let's get you dirty, too, then. Huh? Have you used up all the paint? Come on. Then I'll make my own gooish and you will beg me to share with you. Let's pour some clear glue into a bowl of cornstarch and then paint it. Then let's mix everything thoroughly until you get a slime mess. Oh, what a cool thing! Well done, Susie! Okay, once Sam gets my forgiveness. <laughs> well, I'll help you craft then. Tell me what to do next. We need to mix the washing gel into our mask. And knead it like dough. Ooh, I love it! Now put our slime here. Thanks, Samantha. Close the lid tightly so that it doesn't dry out. Well, does it look like gooish? Hey, but where are the other colors? Huh? Whoa! Boom! <laughs> we'll make the packaging from a large sheet of colored paper with a hard bottom and secure it with double-sided tape. Looks kind of plain, though. Hmm. Check out what I've got, Sue. A conciliatory label. Well, I no longer hold grudges for that prank. So, Tris? Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, did you forget about me? Uh, we couldn't even if we wanted to. So, Sue, will you let me play with this? Pick a color. So, we have three Enid style crafts and only two Wednesday style. Oh, I can see that. We need to make one more. <laughs> and I already know what. A pan with a sweet surprise. Sam, make a cone out of the pie, please. Your wish is my command. Watch your fingers, folks. Great. Now we'll glue the black crayon inside and cover the whole thing with shiny cardboard. Oh, sweet cookies. It looks like a tip of a pan. Bingo! Only we'll have it with a secret. Hands this container. Let's close the junction with a decorative element. And here's the other end of the pan. It also needs decor. Leave it to me, sis. Oh, let's go. Uh huh. Well, it's rather Enid style. <laughs> Whoa, finally! How cool is that, Sam? All I have to add is a clip. <laughs> I'm gonna eat no, you now. No, Sammy, this hey! is the main feature of our pan. Huh? And twist it tightly. Amazing. Mm, I love spooky candy. Hey, Okay, okay, here we go. Fair now, three rainbow crafts and three black ones. What crafts did you like best? Give a thumbs up for Wednesday style. And subscribe for Enid. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>
announcement. Wait, you dropped Fluffy where? <laughs> Relax, I'm just kidding. Fluffy's okay, so uh, what's up with that fair? <gasps> oh, I totally forgot about it! I haven't even started on my crafts yet! Guys, I don't get it! What crafts is you talking about? What fair? All right, quick, I need lots of colored paper. Um, come on, Sam, I need your help. Hey, what about the announcement? Wait for me! Oh, hi, guys. Today, Sam and I are going to make four simple but very cool crafts for the school charity fair. All we need for them is colored paper? No, but it's going to be the main element. Let's fold this square piece of paper to make the first item. Now that we folded the sheet in half, let's bend the edges. Look, just like this. Okay, now do exactly the same on the other side. The main thing is not to get confused. All right, now let's fold each of the sheet's corners. So, uh, what exactly are we working on? It's a secret. Have patience, you'll find out soon. Now let's bring the corners towards the center. And then we turn the paper over and fold it from both sides. So that the sheet's edges meet in the center. I too want to do something for the fair. Then make five more like this. Consider it done. Now we need to insert a small piece of paper like this. Ah, let's put the whole thing together. And we get this triangular pipe. There you are! Did I do everything right? Yeah, cool! Let's glue the parts together. You see, guys? Our pencil holder is really easy to assemble. Just apply some glue and press the pieces together. Ta-da! <gasps> so we're making a pencil holder? Oh, <laughs> looks like I let it slip out before it was time. <laughs> but there's nothing to keep the pencils from falling out. Oh, well, I'm about to fix that. In the meantime, bring me my pencils and markers, please. First, let's glue this piece of paper. There. And now we need to cut off all the excess. I brought a little bit of everything. Oh, thank you. Let's fill it up. Do you like our craft for the charity fair? If so, give us a like and get ready for the next awesome idea! And now let's make an organizer for small items. The only thing we'll need for this craft is colored paper. An organizer? I need one myself! Then watch my hands closely. For a start, let's make creases that'll divide the sheet into three parts. Now we fold the sheet in half and then fold up the edges like this. Sam, are you paying attention? Yes, yes, I'm even taking notes. Now we turn the sheet over and fold the edges towards the middle. Carefully now. You've got to smooth everything out thoroughly. Okay, let's find the central point and bend the corners inwards, towards it. Like this. After that, we unfold the rectangular edges. And we get this pocket. Oh, it looks like my wallet. <laughs> Look, I've made all kinds of wallets for you. Wow, this is really cool, but why so many? We'll attach them to each other. Look, no glue needed. Phil, I don't get it. Where will we store all the little things? <laughs> right in those pockets. For instance, they're great for storing pushpins. What about paper clips? <laughs> you can put anything you like in here. Dear friends, this lovely craft is so easy to make. You just need some paper and five minutes of your free time. Do you know any other cool paper crafts? Share them in the comments below. And now let's make a super easy notepad. Here you are, Sue, exactly as requested. I wanted a notebook with a slime-themed cover, not a heart-themed one. Let's not waste time. First, we need to fold the heart like this. Now, let's take the sheet we've prepared earlier and begin cutting, using the heart as a stencil. As the result, we get another heart, this one made of colored paper. We have to repeat this many, many times. Phil, I made you another stencil. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of someone. Okay, okay, it was just an idea. Right. 
Now that we have enough paper hearts, let's assemble our notepad. Apply the glue along the heart's edge. And stick it to the next heart. Do you see how it's done? Now repeat the same with the rest of the hearts. So, is this for the cover? I thought it'd be pink like me. Aww. Well, next time we'll do exactly as you wish. But for now, let's see if it fits onto the paper. It seems to fit perfectly. Right, let's apply some glue. And press well. Now we only need to cut off the excess. And our craft is ready! Do you like it, Sam? Wow, it's so bright! I love bright colored stuff! And now let's make our notepad even cuter! Guys, have you ever taken part in a charity fair? What did you make for them? Share your stories in the comments! And now for our fourth idea, let's make mini drawers. You wanna make a set of drawers in five minutes? Why not? We've already got the drawers. Let's reserve one of the boxes for the notes. We'll need to make a cut over here. Be careful with sharp objects. It'll be better if you ask an adult to help you. Ready, Sam? Have you prepared the notes? Ugh, she always leaves the most difficult work for me. <laughs> Sam, very funny. Now let's start assembling the notes like this, putting one into another. This is necessary to help the notes automatically come out of the box. And now let's fill the drawer and pull out the top note like this. Is it ready? No, you only made a notes holder. Now we'll make a box that'll house a scotch tape dispenser. Huh, this sounds more interesting. First, let's mark the spots on the box where we'll need to make the cutouts. Great. Now we make round holes on both sides of the box. Hey, guys! While Sue is busy, I'll go read your comments. Okay, now let's take an ordinary plastic lid, this one will do, and glue it inside the box. Make sure that the lid fits the size of the tape and the height of the box. Let's glue a piece with serrated edges here so it'll be easier to tear off the tape pieces. Okay, now all we have to do is put the tape inside the box and let's test it out! Awesome, so handy! Sue, so, where's the set of drawers itself? You decided not to make one? Of course I did! I was just about to put it together. But first, let's glue our drawers together. We'll need six drawers all in all. And here's the last ones! Our set of drawers is almost ready! But it's so small! What on earth can you store in there? <laughs> All kinds of stuff. For instance, my hairpins. Or your candy. These erasers will make perfect knobs for the drawers. See? They fit our drawers perfectly! I'm sure that at the fair, someone will buy our set of drawers right away. Sue, so let's put a candy into one of the drawers. It'll be a sweet gift for the buyer. Aw, that's a wonderful idea, Sam. Guys, did you enjoy our ideas for the charity fair? If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And tell all your friends about our channel! Bye-bye! <laughs>
to. Are you sad? Don't be. What choice do I have? Don't worry, Sue. I'll save you from sadness. Let's make the galaxy and shooting stars ourselves on... Um, what do you use most often? My notebook and a pencil case are my favorite tools, I guess. Perfect. Let's collect all your glitter. All right, I'll clean the sofa and the table. The floor is yours. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you want to get more galaxy in your life, give a thumbs up and join us. We decided to make a special notebook using the bread sponges. <laughs> sponges? Oopsie! <laughs> Be careful, guys. Not all things that look like food are edible. Blah, Sue, I wish you'd have warned me earlier. By the way, why sponges? This will be a toast on which we're going to spread some galaxy. Susie, did you know that blue stars are actually hot and the red ones are cold? In our bathroom water, it's marked differently. Yes, Sam, that's right. Why can't it be the same? Oh, come on, Sammy, that wouldn't be interesting. Well, ugh, I don't know. Don't be so afraid. It's just paint. Besides, according to the popsicle stick on the table, I guess you had an ice cream today. That wasn't me! It's, um, fluffy. <laughs> okay, you're safe. Bring the stick. Yes, ma'am. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Guys, here's the main trick. The better you mix the colors, the brighter your galaxy will be. I advise you to do it in a circular motion, starting from the center. Oh, it truly looks like a real galaxy. Now we need to make our galaxy shine. Put more! Put more! Wait, Sammy, we're going to add something more. Everything in moderation. Huh, are we dying? Yep, it just needs time to set. Huh, it's so old and ugly. What about making a new eraser? Sure, I've already got a plan. Meanwhile, the notebook's almost ready. Guys, check out this sparkling galaxy we created. Right, Tammy, we need Oreo cookies. Hooray! Not for eating, I just need them for something else. <laughs> what? I can't eat a cookie? I'm going nuts with all these contradictions. Don't be sad, you'll like it. Uh, I'm not sure. Tammy, don't judge before you know. Anyway, aren't you gonna save me some sadness? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna find other materials. We've got a lot in stock. How do you remember all of it? I read that to develop memory, you should memorize where everything is. I'm practicing. Good for you, Sammy. Yep, I can memorize things in a freaking 10 seconds. <laughs> That's cool, Sam. We need to remove the cookie, not breaking the mold. There's still some of the cookie left inside. Right you are, Sam. Guys, you should clean the mold from the cookie crumbs really well. Remember that you can't eat these crumbs after they touch the glue. Unfortunately. Your order's up, young lady. Thank you, sir. That's not all. Here. Oh, just what I need. Let's mix all three balls together now. This way. Mix it well. Don't rush. Now we need the mold. Here it is. I hope you didn't lick it. Of course not, but I ate the second half of that cookie. With the stuffing? Yeah. <laughs> You're a sweet tooth. <laughs> Alright guys, now we can take it out of the mold. Be careful. Okay. Good. There. The first half is done. Oh, that's the best Oreo I've seen in my life. 
even if it's not edible. <laughs> Sammy. By the way, the second half of our eraser is almost ready, too. Voila. Great, isn't it? Master Sam, pink clay, please. Shake that. Thanks, you read my mind. I just know Oreo cookies very well. <laughs> no doubts. You're the master of Oreos. Do you know that we should bake this clay now? Oh, just like a real cookie. But do you have food-shaped erasers? Give a thumbs up if you do. And it's done. Shall we try it? Da 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 da. <gasps> Wow, we made a great eraser. Check it out. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da. So, I wrote the word like wrong. I need an eraser. Sure. Thanks. Guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe. The last craft for today is a galaxy pencil case. The tools are ready. Thank you, Sammy. Let's start drawing our galaxy. What do you say we add some magic? The rubbing alcohol will help the colors mix beautifully with each other. There we go! Huh, looks kinda nice, but the smell is awful. Don't worry, Sam, the smell will disappear quickly. Let's add some more colors to the galaxy. So, is the galaxy so colorful for real? I don't know, Sammy, I've never been in space but I want to believe it is. Huh, I should find out the true information. Sam, could you please get the blue zip out of the sewing box? I'm on it. The felt should set well before we continue. I found it. Good job. Yay, we're gonna finish soon. So many things we made. Yeah, that's true. Let's apply some glue to attach our zipper. Guys, if you want us to make more unusual crafts, give a thumbs up. By the way, Sam, the alcohol dried and it doesn't smell anymore. So quick. Yes, Sammy, rubbing alcohol wears off quicker than water. Click. Click. I think I got too much information today. Otherwise, why is my head so heavy? <laughs> That's good, Sam. Those who rule the data rule the entire world. All right, we're almost there. Let's glue the other side as well. I'll conquer the world! <laughs> I'd like to see that. By the way, there's no galaxy without stars. Stars are the most important part of the craft. It was all for them. Yeah, Sam, you were right. It's both comfortable and very beautiful. Always glad to help you, young lady. Oh, you're so sweet. What if you lose your inspiration because of sadness and we don't make crafts anymore? So is that why you help no, me? No, no. I just mix business with pleasure. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a cookie. <laughs> Enjoy your cookie, but first say bye to the viewers. See you guys. Bye-bye.